All right, guys, uh, you ready for more toys? So, remember when I did a vape mail episode and I showed you guys that I got the Rose Atomizer over here, right? So, Rose, uh, this is the deluxe kit in the clone uh, in the clone roses compared to the other stuff. Uh, H Cigar makes one. That, um, I remember uh, Richard Ng did one. And basically, the difference is that like it didn't come with the base and the special tools and whatnot. Okay, so uh, yeah, this one comes with the base over here and then some rods and stuff on the inside for you to work with. Unfortunately, this one is going to be a negative review. Okay, so I know a lot of you are smelling blood in the water right now. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a bashing. As well as uh, towards the end of this video, I'm also going to be doing a slight comparison to the Kaiser because these two are more or less similar items. So you want to stay tuned for this one. Let's dive down and take a look at it. Okay, uh, quickie, quickie screen cap before we begin this video. Okay, uh, one thing that I have to put out there, right? I'm not calling out anybody in particular or anything like that, right? It's just something that must be put out there, okay? So, uh, doesn't matter if you're a bigger channel or some of you smaller channels, you know, uh, Vape Fog, Tommy Vapors, NC Vaping, uh, Rockstar, all of you guys, right? Uh, you know, for the most part, like everything that we do, uh, when you do reviews and whatever, you try to your best to like give a good review. If you can't give a good review, you try to just avoid the product in total so that like, you know, um, don't give light to something that's already bad. But there are, are going to be times where you have no choice, but you have to give a bad negative review on stuff. And it is important that you make sure that uh, what you're doing is absolutely deserving of what is happening, okay? Uh, as crazy as, you know, some of the big guys is out there, right? We won't mention exactly who it is, but still, uh, we all need to have the common decency to go ahead and contact the manufacturer and make sure, double check, triple check, that the item is indeed inherently flawed, okay? Because uh, when you have a channel, you have a lot of power over stuff. You have a lot of power, you know, influence over people. And we need to use that for some superhero stuff, not some super villain stuff, right? So uh, with that said, you know, uh, I have indeed went ahead and confirmed that there's something wrong with this stuff. So it becomes that the negative review that you're doing is here to protect the people. It's not just to entertain the people, even though we all know that like, you know, every time you do like a negative review or something like that, it, 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 it catches a lot of entertainment because it's refreshing and it's not done often. So let's begin. There's two companies out there, right? But that's called the iJoy company, right? So when you hear iJoy, you got to be able to differentiate the difference. All right. So I'm going to do that for you guys right now. Uh, this guy, all right, is iJoy, I-J-O-Y. Okay. Both companies are in Shenzhen. Not surprisingly, these are the guys who had the beef at ECC with Kryptonite Vapors because of like, you know, some kind of 454 clone, blah, 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 whatever that you've seen uh, Lou from East Coast uh, rant about. So just to show you, it's these guys and this is their, uh, I don't want you guys to see the Pegasus Vapor Academy thing because I actually don't have a, I, I just filled it out. Anyways. Um, this is their logo and this is their Facebook and this is what their uh, thing is, right? They do the Autobot thing, blah, 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 whatever. Okay, so what you need to understand about this company is that like they're a lot like um, early smoke company. They're a lot like early Sigeli, meaning that like uh, they try to come out with their own stuff, but it's not always doing that well so therefore on the side in order to make ends meet they'll do like some clones as well you know what i mean uh another company that probably should uh should have to follow in this footstep is probably like l rider or something like that because uh l rider stuff i mean come on like who's really buying that right so uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they have no choice but to do a little bit of cloning or whatever in order to make ends meet until they start developing better products that people are going to pick up like sigeli 
and uh, smoke company does, right? Because uh, if if it wasn't for like you know the Magneto and and etc. things like that, for uh, Sigeli, if it wasn't for like you know the earlier stuff with the Z Max and that they evolved into like hundred watt box mods or whatever you would be screwed and you would have to be stuck in the cloning department before you could become you know uh something more solid like uh yud or uh Inokin or you know what i mean uh, because your stuff's just not being picked up so uh i joy company right this is the one that we're talking about it's vapor i joy i j o y with an e at the end personally i think both companies should change their names because neither one really makes sense um but anyways uh, I think that the name itself is a little bit coattail writing off of Joy Tech. I, does anybody else get that vibe as well? So that's not really cool. But for the, uh, for, but what you should know is, is the difference is that like, you know, the iJoy company, they're trying to do like, you know, go their own way with the whole, you know, not a clone thing, right? So they, they're doing the clone thing to pay the bills until they don't have to do the clone thing. This company is just straight up cloning. Clone, 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 clone. Okay. And uh, that's exactly what I have from them. This is from the uh, iJoy E company. And this is their um, Facebook page. Immediately, <laughs> you can sense the difference between, you know, this company and, you know, this company just by, like, you know, your average posts and stuff. Uh, yeah. So. That's what I want to put out there, okay? Uh, not that any of you guys, like, you know, do that or whatever, but I'm just saying, right? Before you go ahead and kick some sand into somebody else's rice bowl, right? Make sure that they deserve it, all right? So here we go with the negative review, and let me show you exactly what the issue is and why it is an absolute buyer beware. All right, guys, so before we begin, let's take a look at the box one more time, okay? This is the Rose Atomizer box that... Uh, I got and this is exactly what you need to be on the lookout for buyer beware on this one okay uh, you're much better off buying the one that either Richard Ng uh, reviewed or an H cigar version of this that doesn't come with the base or whatever because at least it works so you know if you can't wait until a better version of this one comes out then get something like that all right so let's begin with what's inside over here okay um, it comes with a rod and then it comes with the base over here the base is kind of cool um, let's say some good things about the rose at first, okay? Uh, whether or not you get the actual rose, the, the, the real one, or the clone version, okay? I will say that I did get this one working, and they are, uh, solid tanks, okay? It is a solid tank system to have. However, at the same time, I personally feel as if, like, it's just a little bit redundant. It's good. It's not bad. It works well. If you don't have a, uh... A, a really nice tank, you know what I mean? Uh, this is something to uh, seriously consider. But if you own, like, all sorts of tanks, you know, K-Funds, Russians, uh, like, you know, uh, things like that, then this is going to be a little bit on the redundant side, and I seriously urge you to find a brick and mortar to go, you know, load it up with juice, try it out before you go ahead and buy whether it's the clone or the real one, because you don't need another extra something of something that, you know, uh, you, you probably already have that's very similar to it. So, okay, uh, I'm I, I, I'm sure a lot of the fanboys will disagree and then like talk about how wonderful this thing is. Uh, my opinion, it's just not bad. It's not great. It's just not bad. But it's very sought after, and that's why we have to talk about it because uh, ever since this thing got cloned by China, the popularity of you know uh, the Rose and Eden mods or whatever has exploded on the scene. So. What is the point of this, uh, the base over here, okay? Uh, you should definitely try to get a version with the base, uh, uh, on, on this because, uh, you know, a base is really nice to work on. It's a, a weighted piece. But what this thing can do is that, like, it's also, like, a tool so that, you know, we could jack this in over here and then it can help us release, you know, from, um, well, I, I didn't do this one that great, but, uh, I could tighten this and then I can release the tank. And then over here, there's a hole for me to insert the rod, 
and then I could spin this and then, you know, I could release the, uh, the airflow and then, you know, give this thing a good cleaning if I wanted to. All right. Uh, we're not going to get into to all that stuff because unfortunately this one wasn't very good. So I'm not going to be able to review it for you guys. Uh, I really wanted to, you know, bring this guy in because, you know, it's basically a hot item and it, it, it does kind of sort of serve its purposes in, in, in many ways. Now, the thing is that like uh, this kit over here it came with two ceramics, right? And uh, obviously I cracked one of them because these things are not very good, right? Uh, it's not made very well, so it doesn't go in perfectly. This one I sanded it down to make it work and then it goes in uh, perfectly and easily. But the two that came with, both of them had problems. Uh, I double checked with the manufacturer. I got on Skype with them, get on video. Pull me out another one, and then let's compare what's going on. And then I said to them, the cup over here, this is an issue. They had the same issue. Another thing over here that uh, the bore over here is way too big. So what happens is that when you put a negative uh, canthal in here, right, and then you try to tie this thing down, this thing is not going to hold in place. Only the positive will hold in place. So this is going to cause some misfires. The next thing over here is the uh, bottom firing pin. Now, guys, I've always said to you guys, all right, uh, check the bottom the bottom firing pin always, all right. This is exactly where most likely shorts can happen. So, if the pin recesses, if the pin you know touches the sides or something like that, then it's going to you're definitely going to have a problem. So, uh, I put this on a mech mod and it wasn't been able to fire. I put it on my Ace 50. Of course, it fires right away because, uh, like I showed you before, that thing fires anything, even if you have a short, uh, it's no problem. So, what I want to do is that I want to show you the pin over here, and I did the same thing on Skype with the people in China, and then I showed them I'm like what's going on. Why does this thing look like as if it should hold an O-ring, but there's no O-ring? Do you have an O-ring on yours? And they're like, no. And I'm like, check another one. They're like, no. All of them are missing the O-ring. So. Why do you need this thing? Because it, without the O-ring, then once you install this thing back into the rows over here, if it's tilted just slightly in any way so that like the positive and negative are touching each other, you're going to have a short. And it's just that simple. So when I had this thing, this thing, I mean, it wasn't just a potential short. It was a guaranteed short because, you know, it's going to lean a little bit. See how it is? So if I went ahead and then, you know, just pried against this thing a little bit so that it's a little more centered, right? It'll be okay for a little bit, but then give it a little bit more time. It'll, it'll lean back to, you know, where it was. It'll create contact with each other, and then this will cause a short again. So big, big problem on this, okay? So both uh, the, the connection over here, the ceramic cup isn't uh, done very well, and, uh, you know, this thing needs is is completely missing an O ring, which I think is definitely a return item plus a don't buy because you know this should not be a consumer concern. All right, so now let's get into the whole design of a rose. All right, certain things I want you guys to see and compare with many many things. Okay, so I have a Russian over here, I have a Kaiser over here, I have a. Uh, an aqua over here, right? First thing I want to do is talk about juice control, all right? Juice control is very, very important. Uh, this thing is a little bit ahead of its time, all right? Because uh, this thing has actually been around for, you know, more than a year. Uh, it, it's, it's just exploded on the scene now. So the juice control on this thing is basically, you know, you lift this up and then you start to see more and more of the wick. You see what I'm saying? Okay, but here is the issue with this thing, right? And why the juice control of this is BS. Because let me ask you the first question. Why do we even have juice control? Why even implement, why even have the design of juice control? So that the coil doesn't fry and we allow more juice in here so that we could turn up the power so that the heat and the air and the juice, they go together, right? So no dry hits, et cetera, et cetera, like that. That's the whole point of this. However, take a look at this chimney. Look how small this little barrel is. It's so small. So uh, that's where it's inherently flawed. And it doesn't matter if it's a clone or the real one, okay? They're all like this. And this thing seriously needs to be bored out because it doesn't matter what the airflow is on the bottom over here. Like, you, you know, as you, as you turn this thing, you know, there's dual airflow on on the uh, the holes. It's a little bit tight right now for me to be turning it by hand but like as as you can see the, the air holes over here and then you know it's on both sides so 
there we go that's max airflow right there okay on both sides oh i'm sorry actually it's just one side it's just one air hole so okay so the air hole over here is this big and then the air hole on over here see that okay that's basically like a russian isn't it because that's at, at the end of the day that's all the airflow that is in these things just here to here that's it and we all know that a russian is not a lung hitter so this thing is just basically built for mouth hits and flavor but if that's the case then why do we need juice control how much juice do you need in just a mouth hit like it's not a lung hitter it's not meant for like huge vapor production or or anything like that and that's why i call bs on this thing okay it was the same thing on the aqua too the aqua it didn't have that huge of airflow yeah it had pretty good airflow but it wasn't huge and then the same thing applies to it like you could adjust the the, the juice control but the juice channels in this thing was like very very solid how many of you actually had more of a gurgle problem on the uh, aqua as opposed to a dry hit problem on the aqua like i don't know anybody who had like a dry hit issue on this this thing if anything like if you you know uh over uh under wicked or, or 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 something like that and then you know you, you could actually uh flood the, the the tank more than anything else but here's what, where i want to show you something that's hysterical about this thing okay uh, in comparison to like the kaiser okay i'm going to just screw this thing down all the way and then we're going to pull out the kaiser over here so why am i comparing these these two because they're both uh ceramic cup uh setups so uh this thing is a little frankenstein of a um of a tank and there's many many parts to it Okay, so I gotta uh, keep going, and and it's so threaded that like you know just gotta keep going with this thing. All right, uh, I gotta take off the base over here to really show you what's going on with the inner workings of the the Kaiser. But I want to start from this point right here. Okay, you see how this is, and then you know you build your wicks, and then the wicks uh, uh, stick out from these holes over here. Okay, uh, on the rows, right? If I turn off the juice control, I could turn it off all the way. So the point is that like no juice gets to the wick whatsoever. What is the point of that? You know, what? Why is it that the tank doesn't start from this this point? Why does it start from a negative zero point to the point where like now juice control is absolutely necessary in order for this thing to work? You know, truth be told, right? This thing could have been somewhere set like right here, and the rows would perform exactly the same because it doesn't need more juice control because it can't handle it anyways and it and 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 anything less would just completely shut off the system so basically you could have had a rose atomizer that was just designed just like this and then just leave it alone you know what i mean and that's why juice control on this thing is just it's, it's just pointless it's, it's bs now juice control on this thing now you're talking okay now this is a big deal i want to show you something else on the inside let's compare the ceramic cups real quick okay look at the size of this thing look at the size of this thing now i purposely have the ceramic cup on the side because i just want to do this real quick right instead of like talking about the size of a uh, i'm just going to take this ceramic cup and put it inside this is this ceramic cup look at the size difference so uh without having to you know build on this and work on that or whatever right just just at a glance, right? Science tells us that like this thing is going to way outperform this thing as far as vapor production. Okay. And only when you are a front runner of vapor production, do we actually start, you know, we need juice control. So, uh, if anything, you know, I, this thing is like right on schedule with its time right with like all the new box mods that are coming out uh this is a 50 watt there's 100 watts there's, there's another 150 watt ones uh cloud pours uh doing a couple of those and then smy with the god 180 right those things are coming out soon we'll, we will talk about the safety of that in another video but you know let's not get into that yet let's stay on this for for a little bit right so where is it flawed on this one well the best thing about the juice control on this is that like the drip tip and the chimney is one single piece so therefore you turn the drip tip and then it will turn the uh juice control on this thing independently while on the kaiser doesn't really work that way it's more like uh you want to leave this thing a little bit loose and flowing uh 
and then we reassemble everything else okay so i'm gonna go ahead and then uh put the uh the bottom of the tank over here which is also the the skirt to um you know uh cover up the the inner workings okay i'm gonna put my o-ring in and then the glass look how much you have to go through okay so make sure that this is a little bit loose and flowing right then this thing is double threaded so we need the top part of the tank with the o-ring over here now uh keep in mind of the o-ring here and the o-ring here right we're going to talk about that in a second so as i screw this thing down okay and then i have to get to the second section over here so we have to screw it down again right somewhere around here is where we gotta just chill out you know because we gotta be able to hold this and then turn this at the same time while the uh the words kaiser can turn see that so somewhere around here can we actively you know uh adjust for the juice control right however as we turn this the body of this thing is unthreading at the same time so what does that mean it means that like uh how far can we go on this juice control with the tolerance of the o-rings before you know what i mean this thing just basically comes apart you know what i mean there's it's not like uh more independent where like you just turn this thing so you might want to argue that like just by the looks of it you know okay so what you do is that you put the cap on this etc cetera, etc cetera. okay that would make sense if this cap was reverse threaded but it's not so uh it, it just threads this way and all this cap really does other than like you know top and bottom shape over here it's basically just to uh cover up the fill hole over here so it doesn't look so bad uh yeah literally that is all it does okay so you will argue right that i'm comparing more of a performance tank to more of a uh flavor chasing tank however what i want to argue about that right is that, like look if i wanted to make this thing a flavor chaser real simple i build the same coil inside over here and then on the uh the airflow adjustment over here right you see how this is two holes so i'll just turn this so that it's about half a hole and then i'll take a more flavorful drip tip and i'll put this on top boom flavor chasing machine you know what i mean and that it, it and not only that right i guarantee you that the flavor on this thing is going to be better than the flavor on this thing and that's what annoys me about this at the end of the day even though this is a pretty good tank the world doesn't need it um the juice control idea or whatever the concept of this thing the world absolutely needs it because of all the new box mods and stuff that are coming out and juice control you know is the only way that a tank is going to be able to keep up with the heat that that's put out so that like you know we can enter uh 30 watts and 40 watts worth of power into a uh, tank without like you know burning the coil and burning the juice and you know stuff just tastes burnt um okay so that is basically it with like the comparison and uh my rant about like you know the rose and everything else okay so let's go back up to the top cam and then i'll give you uh, some more of my final thoughts all right guys uh let's talk about marketing and clones and stuff like that okay now i'm not on the side of you know hashtag not a clone i'm not for or against it i just want to point out some stuff that many people who have been arguing back and forth back and forth do not entirely understand because most of you guys do not have any type of business backgrounds okay so what happens is like this okay uh, a company comes out they do a design is very nice etc etc right and uh their production you know is going to be like a limited run they they could do like you know 100 sets up to 10,000 sets at best depending on where their capital stands so usually you know they do like anywhere between like a 500 and a thousand a piece run uh right off the bat right and then you know uh they retail at around anywhere between like 150 to 200 dollars depending uh regardless if it's like a mod atomizer or something like that right because at the end of the day it's just metal and cnc right <clears throat> so uh the issue is this <clears throat> when china clones your stuff and you're more or less like a new modder okay 
that's actually a good thing because it's going to help put you on the map. Before this, you know, other than like Rose fans, I, I, you really wouldn't say like too many people knew exactly who Eden Mods was, you know what I mean? But now Eden Mods is totally on the map now, thanks to that. It's not until when you actually get bigger does China really, really eat at your profits or whatever, okay? Because if you have something good, the, the thing is is that like you don't have enough to go around anyways and you don't have the capital to produce enough to go around anyways, okay? And plus, a lot of the customers that they're selling your clones off to were people who are never going to give you $179 anyways, right? So always keep those things in mind first. It's not until you become a really big time modder like Kato and Mojo and uh, whatnot, it, it, until like you're just like, whoa, you know, I don't need China's help anymore. Like they need to get out of my way and you know, we have to go to war and there is a problem. At first, it, it, you know what I mean? It, it's actually helpful. It's kind of like, it's kind of like uh, how leeches suck out the poison, and you, you know what I mean? Like it's bad for you, but like at first it's helpful. But then if it keeps going, then it's just gonna bleed you dry, you know? So something to consider before you just go ahead and like mock China or mock clones or mock this and that and and and, and whatnot. Okay, uh, many times, you know, some of the politics of this stuff actually, you know, side effect help each other. All right, uh, enough of that nonsense. So, yeah, uh, hope you guys see the difference between, like, you know, the Kaiser and the Rose. I feel as if both atomizers need improving on both ends, okay? I feel as if the world absolutely needs juice control tank systems for all the kick-ass box mods that are coming out in order to they big produce those huge density clouds so that uh, a lot of people can be on the road to zero nick because uh, many of you out there still require that nick not just for the nick fix but nick also produces like a chemical throat hit right while uh, dense vapor can also produce like you know a throat hit as well not nearly as strong of a kick as as nick can but you know, once you lowered yourself, lowered yourself, lowered yourself until, like, you know, they're, they're close to each other, you can trade one for the other so that, like, you're smoothly on the road to zero neck, okay? So, uh, that's just a uh, small tip of the segment that is about to come uh, about the road to zero neck, and uh, we'll talk more again next time.